for a moment about motivation during a hard block of training, maybe a hard week. If you find yourself having a lack of motivation during this hard week, I think we ought to zoom out and look at some of the bigger picture factors that play into why a rider is motivated to train hard. Cycling or any sport, when you really pursue it and start to get down to it, it requires a lot of drive. And that's because by definition, you're sort of bringing yourself out of balance. You're focusing on one thing in order to make a big accomplishment. Maybe you're training for a Fondo. Maybe you're training for state championships. Maybe you're just training for your first bike race. But the exercise of becoming a cyclist and focusing all that energy into one goal is what drives you. However, if that goal isn't really something that's important to you, when the training gets really hard, you might struggle. You might find it hard to execute. So we have to ask ourselves, what is your one dream goal or objective? Are you really in alignment with what you're trying to accomplish? Maybe you're trying to win a road race at the end of the season. And that's been your goal the whole time. But when you really dig into yourself and ask yourself what's driving you to train for that race, you're struggling to find the goal worthwhile or a worthwhile trade-off for all that hard work you're doing. Maybe your motivation is extrinsic instead of intrinsic. And I find that truly sustainable motivation almost always is intrinsic. What do I mean by extrinsic motivation? Maybe when you think about it, you realize that you're actually racing your bike to impress your dad or impress your wife or impress your friends or for your Instagram account. And bike racing's really, really hard. So if those are your primary drivers, you're probably not gonna get too far in a hard training program before your motivation starts to crumble. If you have true intrinsic alignment with your goal, your dream, your passion, then the motivation is easy. Actually, it's kind of the opposite. We have to focus on recovery modalities and make sure you don't overdo it because someone who's truly hungry for their goal will drive and drive and drive until they're exhausted. That's where coaching comes in. So the second tip I have, if you're having trouble making it through a really hard training block is to look at your recovery modalities. And the two in particular that stand out are, one is sleep. Lack of sleep can very quickly erode someone's motivation to deal with the discomfort of hard training, especially in, when it's hot in the summer and you've got traffic and challenges, work, life to balance, all the things. Another way to say this is for a man or a woman with a why, there's always a how. But if sleep is taken away from that equation, suddenly the how can get bigger, so to speak. Those obstacles become more of a challenge in your path. The last part I'd like to mention about overcoming a challenging week of training is your diet and hydration. If you are really training hard, this is your last big week before you're gonna taper, before your final event, your Fondo, your state championship, whatever your, your focus is, and you're putting in the extra push of intensity, the extra push of volume, this is one of your hardest weeks of the year, this is the last week of the year where you want to try to also lose weight or cut calories. This is a time to fuel your body. You're doing your hardest work. You absolutely need to put fuel in the tank to run the jet engine. And hydration, the same rule applies. It's quite disappointing to me to discover how many of my athletes are actually chronically dehydrated. Really fundamentally, we're just bags of water and you're mostly made up of water. So if you're running low on fluids all the time, that's going to very quickly take away from your, we'll say reserve tank of motivation to deal with those hard efforts and to recover from those efforts. Remember glycogen is your, one of your primary fuel sources on the bike and glycogen is stored in the muscle in combination with, you guessed it, water.